What's poppin' y'all? This is Deidre with One Shot Game. You already know how the motto go. You get one shot at life, but a lifetime to, you know, soak up all the game you want for your life to better improve it. The right game, the good game. You know, we all gonna go through certain things in our life, all go through certain periods in our life, but as long as you learning from it and doing things to change it instead of doing the same things over, and creating a stress in your mind for yourself that's the best thing you can do as a human you know what i'm saying i'm just one person but i've went through a ton of experiences and learned from a ton of things in my life and i'm just trying to give people uh, a certain set of information that's the truth that can help alleviate the mental prison inside your brain i don't care how much you pretend and act like you're not living in a mental prison some days you do and some days you don't just be real with yourself so before i start the title of my video i just want to say big shout out to all my supporters you guys are great as i always say i do this video in part just to give people information you know what i'm saying and i also do it for myself like it's it's a form of therapy really you know what i'm saying because i'm not really good at expressing the deepest parts of me to other people you know what I'm saying? So it's kind of like I'm talking to myself, but I'm talking to the people, you know, whoever chooses <laughs> choose to watch it. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully y'all learn something to change your life. That's all I'm asking. And, you know, the world is in its own time zone right now. So the title of my video is going to be on the fact that I know a lot of times people can take my videos in the wrong way. They can, you know what I'm saying? probably not be interested in what's real they'd rather be used to the uh the drama and you know the the the, the, the gossip and the, you know the extra money type lifestyles and all that type of stuff you feel me like people are into that like people like the whole fighting in relationships and going to jail and baby daddy baby mama drama like people are into that but I, I think it's time, you know, my videos are going to be more headed towards the evolution of that because people may act like they like that because it's entertaining. But at the end of the day, it's really draining for real. You know what I'm saying? If you're a person that's really went through that for real, it's draining, you know, and I, whether people want to see it or believe it or not, like it's really been a shift. I remember at one point in time, like, that blue face and Krishan rock drama was everything. You know what I'm saying? Now we didn't shift to a different timeline. You hardly ever see that on the internet. Like, don't get me wrong, it's people who still go through it, but I guess I'm one of those people now that is trying to lead people in the right way to understand that is a mental headache. If you are aware and know the person that you have kids by, it won't be none of that. It will be a mutual understanding. Of a father being a father and a mother being a mother period point blank we all fall short sometimes ain't nobody perfect it's no rule book to learning how to be a parent but what I can say is that as we elevate and grow we can make changes but you've got to be willing some of us are still mentally kids in the head but we 35 and 36 you know what I'm saying? And it's the behavior, it's the actions, it's the emotional conversations that you have with yourself. It's your ego drive you instead of realizing the truth is the truth and the lie is the lie. Like, you just got to be real. But people have run so far from it that they'd rather not confront it. And as weird as it may seem, it's, it's really the truth in the process and growing. You know what I'm saying? I don't want nobody to think, oh, she's just anti anti and da, da 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 listen once i grew i know who's for me and who's not if your ego is driving you and you're okay with lying to yourself lying to other people and risking everything you have to put on a status and get the bag that's you over there but for me it's different and i'm not saying it because i've never went through that i have i did a backflip for the money before i've risked it all for the money before I did everything you could possibly think of to get a bag before. You know what I'm saying? But in the process, my self-worth and who I was and, and, and my thoughts and my confidence were so poor with it that, you know what I'm saying? I'm smoking every day. 
just to be able to look forward to the next day. You know what I'm saying? And granted, I'm having a functional lifestyle in front of myself and everybody else. In my brain, it's like a replay. Play, rewind. Play, rewind. Play, rewind. And I don't care what nobody think that's stressful. That's why you go to the substances. You know what I'm saying? And then at some point, it becomes so long and far gone that the substance is a daily ritual to life to where you actually trick your mind into believing that it's nothing wrong with you and you just choose to engage in substances every day. Like, come on, man. <laughs> you lying to yourself. You know what I'm saying? To be able to heal oneself and grow from your old patterns of living is you have to stop telling yourself lies that's the main thing you can heal your childhood trauma you can you know uh do certain self-care things for yourself you know what i'm saying you can journal you can read you can choose up your different activities you can even stop the substances but if your ego tells lies to itself on a daily basis i promise you you still won't grow <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And, and you have to be willing to not take what people say to you as criticism and take it as I have somebody looking at me from the outside looking in. And maybe I feel like what I'm doing is right. And maybe it's not. But I'm so comfortable in my way of living that anytime anybody tries to come in and say anything different, I take it as a form of criticism. And that is the ego still driving your life you know what i'm saying and that will put a major like still being in your head to where you keep getting the same consequences but not changing the routes you know what i'm saying the ego will drive you in a major way it will have you thinking all sorts of things for your life because it the ego is all about status power and you know what I'm saying, control and, you know what I'm saying, dominating and it, it, it rules everything. And then you have your spiritual self that's in the truth and understanding, you know, that's wrong. I shouldn't do that. Let me respect other people like I want to be respected. But I also understand that some people are so far gone. They don't care about these videos. You know what I'm saying? They're so rooted in whatever is fit for them in their lifestyle that they could care less about you know what anybody's saying to try to help them alternate their lifestyle you know what i'm saying listen i'm just one person but i'm a good person though i'm gonna be the person that's gonna be there when you go from Benz to a honda i'm the person that's gonna be there you know what i'm saying when it's, you hit a hard time you know what I'm saying? That you need help with your kids and you had to stay at the hotel and use the, the you know, the homeless aid until you got your apartment. You know what I'm saying? I'm the one that's going to be there, you know what I'm saying, when things get a little rough. And then when it comes back up, I'm going to be there to celebrate too. So me knowing I'm the type, the type of person that I am, I don't need to look for gratification from no one. You know what I'm saying? Be growing to do. You know what I'm saying? Otherwise, it'll be easy for a person to penetrate my field and have me being that old person, which I'm pretty sure everybody wants her back, but she ain't coming back. You know what I'm saying? I'm taking my own advice and I'm listening and I'm not being ruled by my ego. I actually want to grow. And I actually, you know what I'm saying, was hurt and, and, and depressed and not living my best lifestyle. But... I was putting on the face like I was, but when I got home, sometimes I didn't even want to be there. You know what I'm saying? That, and that's how sad life can be sometimes. You know, it could get really stressful. So, these videos are just centered on growth. Like, I could be, you know, the gossip. I could make up the lies. I could make it seem like I have anger problems. I can't, you know, get along with nobody in public. I be cussing. You know, I'm in this abusive relationship. Like, I I have trouble with, you know, all these things going on with my kids. I could act like that. And it's entertaining. And you'll get the views and you'll get people to watch your videos. But I'm over that. I'm at a peaceful state of mind to where that old way of living is getting tiring. You know what I'm saying? And some people are still doing it and putting it on the internet. You know what I'm saying? But if they're not paying attention... Them type of videos is slowing down on their views, too. If y'all look at the algorithm on YouTube and Instagram and stuff like that, it's changing. You know what I'm saying? 
believe it or not, the shift is happening, whether people want to believe it or not. So all I try to do is give people, you know what I'm saying, some game and some information on how to improve, you know what I'm saying, and, and their growth so the change is not as hard for people because change is hard for people and and mentally it's even harder like you can go from one area of life to another in a matter of 48 hours but mentally you're still stuck where you were you know what i'm saying and that that'd be hard for people sometimes you know what i'm saying it's it's rough and you can tell in their behavior and how they act and the things they do on the daily you know what i'm saying and i just refuse you know, but me having a child, it's like, it, t it does take a village to raise a child. The more love she has, the more people, you know what I'm saying, that she has to have her back, it's easier for her to understand. I don't have to go out into the world and do a bunch of, you know, attention-seeking things because I have the love that I need out of, out of the village that's at. But right now, there's no village because I really don't trust nobody with my child other than her father. You know what I'm saying? And... Ain't nobody perfect, you know, but understanding that to grow, you do got to take time by yourself, like energetically, people will slowly but surely try to take their energy and pour it onto you so that you can fit into the box they have set out for you. And it may not start out like that. You know what I'm saying? I have a very... Uh, gentle kind nature so people usually come in being nice and considerate and talking nice and being gentle but in the mind they have ulterior motives their intentions are completely different from what they're trying to get you in but since they know that you're a kind person you know what I'm saying they trying to will you in but now it's not like that like, people hardly even come around me people know because I'm not listening I'm not settling for the bullshit you want no disrespect but that old way of living is why a lot of people is mentally stressing their head is a why a lot of people you know what i'm saying do substances on the daily but they pretend you know what i'm saying but really it's it's a it's a storm brewing in the middle of summer <laughs> you feel me and i'm i'm just not living like that no more and people, some people hate it just because they trying to figure out how come we still in the storm in our brain and you over there peaceful. Listen, I could give you the game, but it ain't free. And I'm not talking about money. You're going to have to give up some shit mentally if you think you're going to get in a peaceful state of mind. It's not free. You're not just going to, oh, I'm going to do this and all of a sudden I'm in a peaceful state of mind. No, that's not how it works. You're going to have to sacrifice some things to get to the level of peace that a person is at. You know what I'm saying? And it's not, it's not to, to, again, to be think I'm better than anybody. I don't think I'm better than nobody. But if people only realize the things I had to sacrifice, the shit I had to go through, excuse my language, to even get to this phase in my life where I'm peaceful in the mind, most average people are not willing to give that up. And I don't want to just center all my videos on money, but that seems to be, in, in my generation, the thing that people don't want to give up because it gives status. You know what I'm saying? Excuse my language again, but fuck what you talking about. We don't care about feelings. We having a rough moment. We gonna have a drink. We gonna, you know what I'm saying, take a, take a hit of the drove. You know what I'm saying? Spend money at the club, look good. You know what I'm saying? And then we gonna come back home and uh lay in the bed all day because really we listen i'm not doing that and i used to be that type it was so hard for me to get up in the morning you know what i'm saying and just get dressed and do something for the day even if i don't do nothing just to get up take a shower get dressed and you know chill that used to be so hard for me i don't think people understand like i would lay in bed all day you know what i'm saying especially when I was in this last relationship I was in. On the off day that I had, I was so tired and so mentally stressed from trying to keep everything together and having a person that was so distressed in their own life and clingy. Now, I don't even want to get up and get dressed today. I'm just going to lay in the bed all day till my goddamn back be hurting. Listen, no, that shows. Mentally in here, you distressed for real. 
But of course, it's easy when can't nobody see it. But you know what it feel like. You know what you're going through. Ain't it time to, you know what I'm saying? Move past that. You know, people want to ask me, oh, how did you stop smoking weed? And for a minute, I was smoking black and miles. How did you stop? Because, listen, I don't want to be attached to anything in life. I want to completely 100% be myself. Because if a person know you are attached to something in life, that is a time for them to have leverage over you. And if they entice you with that, you know what I'm saying? You are mentally a slave to that attachment, whether it's money sex drugs alcohol you know what i'm saying uh uh information you know what i'm saying cigarettes whatever it is having a mental attachment to anything in the world is giving a person to have a chance to be one up on you absolutely not everything i do and say is calculated precisely and I'm not doing it because of attachment. I've calculated and thought about it, and it's the right choice to make without my feelings or attachment being involved. That can cause a lot of problems, whether people want to admit it or not. You know what I'm saying? But we are just in this state of disarray. You know what I'm saying? People like that. It's comfortable for them, you know? But I'm here to tell you right now. You will never hear me raise my voice you will never hear me get stressed out you will never see me beg you will never see me holler you will never see me do things for attention like i and i used to be that person so don't think you know what i'm saying i'm just this type of person that do don't do nothing that anybody's doing in the past i used to be that person but i'm not anymore you know what i'm saying because I do not have to beg anybody for anything because I don't have an attachment for nothing. So if you don't want to be a part of my life, I don't care. It really doesn't bother me. If anything, I have a high level of intelligence functioning, so I have to do multiple things at once. Because idle time for me is like my brain can't sit still for that long. You know what I'm saying? But being in, in you know, a place where I, I it, drugs wasn't a factor I have to figure out other things and I got it down but listen it's not I don't need the attention I don't need the love I don't care if you don't want to be around me I love sitting with myself some people hate it they can't stand it and then you know what I'm saying they become a slave to certain things and people know that and they can see it whether it's not being done on the surface you know what I'm saying it's the energetic frequency that people can understand you know what I'm saying people act different when it's on energy terms versus versus what they see in the physical you know what i'm saying because in the physical ain't nobody said nothing to me ain't nobody put me down ain't nobody talk bad about me nothing you know what i'm saying i mean when they see me it's cordial it's good but when you get home though you know what i'm saying it's things that are said about me that people probably never ever confess so because of that they just rather stay away or you know don't have nothing to do with me but at first it was clicked up we all out invite me to the function this that and the third you feel me like that type of energy people can feel and, and it's the unseen though because i can get in your face and pretend all day but people don't look at the day-to-day -day function of what's going on because they too in their head and worried about everything they got going on so it's easier for me to keep my eyes open and pay attention because I don't mentally live in my head and I don't have no attachments to anything. So if you move and foul and I see it, I'm going to tell you about yourself. As where a normal person, they ain't even paying attention to that. They don't know, they don't care about the interaction you had yesterday. They're going to come and still be that nice, cool person and act like nothing ever happened and let's ignore it and I'm going to come and do it again and see if I can get away with it. Nigga, no. You know what I'm saying? You want to disarray in your mind. You're attached to a lot of things. It's causing you a bunch of stress. So stay over there with that. You know what I'm saying? Again, like I said, the game ain't free. You're going to have to sacrifice some stuff to become in a mental peace inside your head. But I promise you, it's the best place you could ever live. Because the person that I was in the past, even though people may like her and she was cool, this person chill and she cool too. I'm just not attached to that. And I don't have to do that to fit in. You know what I'm saying? If I don't want to do it, I'm not going to do it. And I'm going to tell you. 
and people who are comfortable with who you are and your growth and they're cool in the spirit, they're going to be cool with that. But the people who really not cool in their spirit and they're used to manipulating and finessing, they're going to have a problem with you objecting to what you've normally been okay with. And that's why I like to just stay by myself from time to time because you're not going to have me feeling some type of way. You know what I'm saying? And it's not nothing I'm going to say, though. It's just the way I'm going to be vibing because you're going to feel it. I can't help it. It just is what it is. It's when you finally know yourself and know who you are and you're not people pleasing and you're not looking to, you know, satisfy anybody else. And again, main big one, attached to anything in the world. It's not about me giving to you. You know what I'm saying? And getting none in return. We either going to pour into each other's cups or ain't nobody pouring into nothing. And per personally, I'm okay with that not having an attachment to things in life will have you clear up your brain and have a better mental peace don't be a slave to this reality life because i'm telling you right now if you are you will be able to mentally cause yourself frustration because anybody knows that you're a slave to certain things that you feel you need because you're attached to those things and without them you're worth nothing the value on you goes all the way down. Anything worth value for real doesn't cost money, period. So this is who I am. I'm standing on business, and I just hope that, you know, as this shift continues to keep happening, I want everybody to be, you know, freed mentally in their brain, and it's going to cost you something. And if you're not willing to give it up because you're too attached, then hey, so be it. I'm going to have to let you fly that way, and that's fine. But I can't go back to who I used to be. Can't. You know what I'm saying? There's no turning back. I'm too far ahead to turn back now. It will be pointless, you know? And that's how growth is. So when you're trying to compare yourself to me or you mad at me or you angry at me it's not anything you said to me or anything you did to me it's because on an energy level i could feel it i know you feel some type of way about me i can tell by the way you acting because nothing is the same anymore you know what i'm saying and that's fine go ahead and free yourself when the time is fit for you but i just wanted to make this video to let people know and understand that when i make my videos i'm coming from a standpoint of understanding and experience it's never to judge anybody for their attachments to life you know what i'm saying but those attachments can keep people in mental disarray i see it all the time attached to sex so you put up with your booty baby daddy or booty baby mama knowing they booty for real but your attachment is to the sex you know what I'm saying? Attachment to money. You know what I'm saying? So you scamming and scheming somebody and trying to figure out a way to get some money. And then when it come back on you, you want to play stupid. You know what I'm saying? Your attachment to drugs or alcohol. You know what I'm saying? So you put on the front, but you get an attitude when you ain't got those things and piss off everybody in the house. Listen, I'm telling you, it's an adverse effect, a negative and a positive to everything in life. And I just hope that people can understand the more positive you are, the more positive your life is. The more healthy your thoughts is, the more you ain't stressed out. You know what I'm saying? And you become at peace in yourself. Let go of them attachments. We've had them for way too long. You know what I'm saying? And they keep a lot of people stagnant in life. Like, a lot of people my age, and we getting up there. We ain't no little 15, 16 year olds no more. That phase has went and gone. You know what I'm saying? So so let's let's get to where we're trying to get to. A peaceful state of mind. You know what I'm saying? And that don't cost money. So if you don't know what it is, I just told you. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Having peace inside oneself is way better than being attached to anything and chasing it and a slave to it because it can keep you trapped and it's people could use it as leverage all the time can't use nothing as leverage on me because i'm not attached to anything